Hi, it's Jessica DeMassa, and that's Matthew Holt, and welcome to this episode of Health in 2.00, where we answer all of your burning questions about health and technology in just two minutes. <laughs> There we go. Ooh. Are we diving straight in today? Oh, we're diving straight in. There's we're not talking about. It's late. We're going to bed. Exactly. All right. It's like eight thirty. <laughs> yeah. Plus, I don't even know what you're going to ask me. So we'll see. Okay. One, two, three, go. All right. So I'm going to start out, of course, with Alphabet dumping so much money into Oscar Health. Wow. Talk to me about this. Okay. Three hundred seventy-five million into Oscar. Oscar literally may or may not make a profit this year. It's going to move into Medicare Advantage, which is a more profitable part, but a harder market to get into. You know, the valuation I heard, the rumors are that it's 10% of the company for about three and a half, four billion something. It's a huge number. Uh, Verily is doing something else. And obviously Alphabet owns Verily. Um, but it's a big gamble, but it's not that much of a gamble for Google or Alphabet because they're so rich. Uh, I think Oscar has got some way to go. I really hope they make it because we need to change healthcare and they're a good start. And Marius Voss is a good guy. I'm nervous. Nervous? Okay. Um, this is crazy. Best Buy out of nowhere acquires a senior, uh, like aging in place startup. Great call for $800 okay, not, million. What is this? $800 million. Not as crazy as you think it actually. So Best Buy is moving towards being the geek squad uh, philosophy of we can't compete on price with Amazon and stay alive. We're going to have to add services. Who needs services? Old people in their homes, uh, elderly seniors, and uh, that's what. Uh, and so they're, they're pushing that path. Great article about this by Kim Ballard and Tincho. So Google for that about the explanation. Interesting. It was bought last year by a P company. We're not sure how much for it. It's doing about three hundred million in revenue, and Best Buy paid nearly three times revenues for it. So we'll hit their earnings for a little bit. We'll be net flat. But, you know, it's part of their bed transition. Can they make it? It's going to be tough because Amazon and Apple, those guys are going to go off to the middle of the home as well. Okay. NYU, free medical school? What is this all about? Not as sensible as making it free to do primary care and paying off your loans. But, you know, medical school probably should be free. But that's not the way we do it in the U.S. Yeah? All right. What about this Netflix movie? So we had a... <laughs> oh. That's the alarm, but you can all you started so you I, can get to, I get to I get to take my sweet time now and shout out Mr. Jason Fay from Guidewell Connect, who I know views us all the time. Hi, Jason. Um, so he submitted a question. He wanted to know if you had if you had seen the Netflix documentary, The Bleeding Edge, which is about the medical device industry, and what your thoughts were about this. I, I have not seen it, but I know it's definitely getting wrapped into the whole issue, particularly of medical errors, uh, which are uh, and lack of diagnosis and and uh, un uh, probably vetted devices being used, particularly for women. I like throw the four people in that uh, movie are women. Mm -hmm. Serena Williams, you know, basically got told that they'd be okay, it'll be okay and ignored after choosing to bring her baby. So minority women, other women are having a tremendously bad time, and so we're going to see this whole issue that's going to come up by the press of. You know, the, the healthcare system not paying enough attention to its pa patients. E patient Dave has been waving the flag on this. It's one of, going to be his, one of his next issues. So, the whole patient safety movement needs some reinvigoration. I mean, Michael Wilson's done a great job, but it can't be all on his, his shoulders, <laughs> frankly. So, uh, I think um, we're going to hear a lot more about this stuff. And, you know, the, the genie's out of the barn, all these support groups. So, I haven't seen the movie, but I hear it's a, a, a good one to watch. Looking forward to it. All right, well, I'm going to have to take a look at that. You're to turn off your Game of Thrones or whatever you're addicted to and give this thing a watch here. <laughs> I saw the last series of Orange is New Black, so I'm done now. So I'll okay, have to yeah. watch that. If I ever finish doing the work, I'm supposed to be doing it for you. Work this in. <laughs> I will, thank you so much, Jason, for submitting your question. If anybody else out there would like to ask Bolty Boy, Mr. Holt, what he thinks about what's going on in health and technology, you can try to stump this chump. Doing your <laughs> not questions. that hard. Not that hard. <laughs> I don't know. I've been trying for like 40 something episodes. You always have something to say. 
<laughs> so you can tweet your questions to us because we love that. You can tweet them to me. I'm a little bit more responsible and I'm at Jess Tomasa. Or you can try to get, you know, him over there at Bolty Boy. Um, and as always, you can please follow along. If you want to binge watch us, all of our episodes from the very biggity beginning are up on our YouTube channel. Just search Health in 2.00. I'm Jessica Damasa and that is Matthew Holt. Thanks so much for joining us. We'll see you soon.